Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about, I'll be actually directing the conversation towards high school, you know, people within that system that still, you know, that still have to matriculate and graduate, if you can call it that, and move into the real world. You know, a lot of times when we're in high school, we always feel frustrated about the system. We always feel frustrated about what's happening within that setup, the curriculum, the subjects that we've taken. Sometimes they don't really complement the things that we want to do one day or we think of doing. And you know, it was it was actually in my mind and I was, I was thinking about how people that matriculate from high school, they don't go back to you know the the way they where they come from where they matriculated and tell people about their experiences in the outside world. I have yet to do it as well. I think I'm gonna do it before this year ends. Go back to school. I'm doing my final year in um, at UJ for I'm doing I'm studying road transport management. But it was very difficult for me first of all to get into the course and second secondly it was very difficult for me to seek funding. Because some of us, especially you watching this, you might not be able to afford your education after high school or your parents might be not be able to afford it. So your job and your responsibility is to either get a job, you know, apply for jobs at the same time you're applying for a course or um, you have to seek uh, funding the, the, the same way I did, like a sponsorship or a bursary trust. And you can find all of that on, on, on the internet. Stop waiting for people to come and help you or come and rescue you. Because not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody's about that life. And not everybody has it easy, bro, after school. Majority of people after school that you are with now that are your friends are not going to be with you after high school. Like a lot of times we feel that, you know, we are going to travel with the same people that we, that, that, that we chilling with at the moment. And that's not the case, guys. Um, people's lives, um, reality hits, reality strikes back. And, um, you know, people go on different roads at the end of the day and you don't study the same things. You don't share the same interests anymore. As soon as you leave those high school gates, teachers are not going to emphasize um, the importance of adulting. Um, you know just being independent they're not going to do that because their responsibility is for them to get you out of high school a lot of times we always question why why are teachers more um, strict when it comes to the information they share about their adulting experiences maybe it's because they're also going through it and they're also having to to deal with the most but I won't lie to you guys my best experiences and the best memories I made was in high school that controlled setup you know you have to wake up at a certain time to get to class you have to wear uniform in order for everybody to look the same I think that was the time where I just felt more connected and closer to everybody because after school you have to buy clothes you have to you know you realize how expensive life is you have to pay rent so I suggest for a lot of people that are within that process of wanting to leave school and leave the system don't do that enjoy the process enjoy where you add at the moment enjoy um, enjoy the teachers that you with enjoy your friends because it all goes away very quickly you know um, the matric ball the valedictory it just all goes by the matric um, the matric exams it just goes by so fast and a few years from now just by the, by the blink of an eye you might find yourself already struggling five years in uh, you haven't even started with varsity yet you haven't even found a good job you know your parents want you out the house or you know sometimes you don't even have support from your parents or any of your family members because after matric they let go of you in a certain way even though some people not every not every parent is like that but for a lot of people the support from their parents isn't, isn't quite the same after they leave school so you know I'm not gonna make this video long I always say uh, for for advice for people within high school people that are in grade 11 especially grade 12 grade 9 grade 10 is is okay you know you're still finding your feet in the high schooling system don't don't just look at degree courses don't be so focused on trying to get into a degree um, line or lane because there's another way around it i know at school we don't listen that much we're always trying to get that bachelor pass even with the bachelor pass a lot of people do not get into these degree programs at the end of the day that's the reality of the situation so always when you apply and try to apply it for different things you know different universities maybe you can apply it at Stellenbosch for um for architecture and engineering and then you apply at uct or at uj different universities and you apply there for arts or acting or 
anything that just interests you. I have a lot of interest so you can keep your options open. But if you apply for degree and diploma courses, there is something that you're definitely going to get in for. So don't be too strict when it comes to what you want to do after school. You know what I'm saying? Keep your options open. I, I wish I would have done that after high school. Don't, don't, don't be so beat up about not getting in for a degree course if you haven't or if you're not going to. Apply for other things. You know, if you don't have funding for that university here, um, it's not the end of the world, you know, you can still go and work, make some money for yourself, uh, take a gap year, it's not even a gap year if you're working, I believe, I don't, you don't call it a gap year if you are working and you're doing something constructive. When I'm saying working, it's anything, not work at an office, you don't have to. You can be a, a call agent person, you can be a waiter, you can work at the bar, a waiter, same thing, you can, you know, you can do various things, you can... Do admin work for, for anybody you can become a PA. Just anything that's going to keep you productive and make you learn about adulting and paying for certain things. Even if you're living with your parents, you can go still work and be independent in that year. Even if you're studying, you can also work. Not as hectic as a person that's not working, but you know, it's good to practice adulting before you graduate because a lot of times the mistake people make and graduates make, they wait until they graduate in order to look for jobs or the final year before they graduate. A lot of times you'll find yourself um, sitting at home for two years with a degree or a diploma, not being able to find a job. So prepare beforehand and think about the future, enjoy the process, acknowledge or embrace high school. Make sure you make good memories because it's not the same after you leave. If you're into other things that are not related to school, um, get into them, you know, get on YouTube, learn about these skills that you'd want to enhance for yourself and uh, increase the chances of you becoming successful in life. Don't be strict on one thing too much. Trust me, it does not work out if you do that. Not for everybody. Not for most people, bruh. So yeah, away, away, away. If you have any questions and you're a high school student that is um, watching this, please comment below so we can get networking and talking if you just are new to this channel please like comment and subscribe watch the other videos that i've dropped so far it's pretty cool so please support show some love and uh, get on the journey with me if there's any movies or anything you'd want me to review please comment below and i'll get onto it as soon as possible so high school students high school i don't like to look at, i don't like to look at you guys as kids or anything like that i always try to you know talk to to, to you in that level get hobbies make hobbies make friends get into sport do everything possible in order for you to get your interests open away away if you have any questions and you're a high school student that is um, watching this please comment below so we can get networking and talking away